All right, guys, what's up? Doing a little, little change out of a furnace, I believe. Um, I wasn't here, I'm just here to help install. Looks like we got a little Gibson. A two-tonner. The only thing is it's raining, it's icy. Got a little tight spot here, I don't know what the heck's up with this. But let's go check out what's inside. All right, so here's the furnace. Little 90 percenter. I believe the technician told me that the heat exchanger has a crack. Kind of slate line goes right into the sub pump pit. Not bad. Gas line. Exhaust goes right out. Fresh air and exhaust. Shouldn't it be too bad? Yeah. So my, my co-partner was right. It's kind of hard to see, but... Right there, the heat exchange is cracked. Yeah. We're gonna get a better shot at it. I don't think that dent had anything to do with it. Huh? I think just rotted out. Yeah, it's all right. There's a little better shot. But apparently, when my coworker was here, they they tried looking with the C camera through the high limit but weren't able to so they didn't use the A coil that took off the the triangle um, metal piece and was able to stick the camera in there but before they even did that they were, when they were running it they could actually see light coming out um, from the heat exchanger from the burners so that's why we had to condemn this thing yeah, it's pretty bad I don't see anything else though Got cut? Yeah. How bad? I know what's gonna happen. Need first aid? Oh, my bob got a little, little cut from the sheet metal. Um, we were just cutting out these corners for our slip and drive but uh he got a little nick so he's all right though i tell him you know i always wear gloves when i'm doing any any kind of sheet metal work been cut way too many times but we got the boot connected and we're going to reuse a little filter rack with a little Magnet there that we're going to throw back on there. That should be fine. We got to do a transition here. I mean, this duct work is just. The problem is, I believe the furnace that was here first was 14 inches wide, and this one is. Gosh, where's my measuring tape? I think it's 17, if I'm not mistaken. So. But they don't make. A ninety percent, ninety five percent plus um, American standard. That's fourteen inches. All right, we're packing up pretty much for today. We got the ninety percent condensate line running across the floor to the sub pump. Um, condensate line for the A coil. Um, tied in the boot. Showed you that before. That gas and electric. Wrapped up. Transition came out pretty good. Nothing spectacular or special, but it works. And 
you got your fresh air here just going straight out and then your exhaust so all in all she turned out pretty good um, decent Monday I enjoyed it I didn't know about it until this morning that we had this job or sold this job so it's fine with me it was a raining outside we're not gonna finish the condenser we're not gonna do the condenser we left it outside connected um, we'll come back in the spring with the condenser we'll tie it in we'll run a 24 to an SOS switch tie it in down there and, and do everything we have to do outside so this is a little two ton 90 plus gas uh, furnace, single stage, uh, uh, I believe it's 40,000 BTUs, so that's it man, hope you guys like it.